A new counseling center opens its doors in Danville. The center could potentially play a key role in helping implement the city's plan for combating crime and violence in Danville. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstad explains. This is the area, our kind of our office space. Hope for Tomorrow Counseling could be a perfect candidate for the proposed Youth Services Task Force. The task force was among the many proposals outlined at last night's City Council work session in which the police chief and the city manager discussed a plan they and several others have been working on for months in an effort to combat crime and violence in the city. Professionals from local youth serving agencies would work together to help um, provide wraparound services to youth and children. The goal would be to prevent kids from getting involved in crime. During Hope for Tomorrow's open house and ribbon cutting today, the director told me that's a big part of what the organization does. A lot of services are offered after kids get in trouble or families are, are in crisis. Uh, counseling often uh, can can prevent that if we can work with family or young people uh, ahead of time. At last night's work session, Danville's police chief said more and more young people are getting involved in crime in the city. Hope for tomorrow's director says he would be interested in being part of the youth task force if it is eventually formed. We feel like we have some things, some services, uh, some expertise that we can bring. If the task force is created, he says communication will be the key to success. And lots of times things are duplicated. What one agency is learning and doing and would benefit another agency so good communication uh, teamwork uh, working together in a therapeutic way city council members will now discuss all of the proposals and begin to implement them when and how they feel is best in Danville Coulter Ainstadt WSLS 10